there guys thank you for your patience we're here for another flip through video um i filmed this like a week ago so that things may have changed just a little bit but not too much and i have been really excited to show you there's not a lot like substantially changed but it just feels a little bit different and i have added and subtracted a couple of things so let's take a look we're still in our file facts malden uh, pocket size in the color stone i took a baby wipe to it yesterday and i'm not entirely sure that that was the best idea i feel like i may have worn off some of the coloring but i did get rid of some of the stains but not this little ink spot so I think I might have to try some rubbing alcohol or something. If anyone has any suggestions for how to clean uh, Filofax leather, do let me know. All right, so this is the same flyleaf. You can see in here we're a little bit full. Um, I should probably try to get rid of some of these, but it's fitting for now. I went ahead and I moved the pen. I had been keeping it in the rings here, but I stuck it on a, uh, a binder clip in the back here, uh, clipping all of my spare paper together. I'm still using the same friction pen, but this rubber band is kind of holding it together um, because there's a little bit of a crack right here if you tighten it too tight. Um, and so the rubber band's just kind of adding a little bit of structural integrity until I can switch it out for a different one. I really liked this color barrel, and so I'm not sure if I wanna go out to see if they have another one at Daiso where I got this or just go back to a normal boring American barrel. Anyway, not the point. Just using the 05 black uh, refills though. So I moved some of the cards out from the front and moved them to the back. So let's look at the front first. The pocket has some spare change and my stamps, like for, you know, mailing stuff stamps. It's always good to have those handy and to know where they are. The front has my driver's license and a credit card. The second pocket is currently empty. And then the back pocket has a Target gift card. Uh, and then in the back, I've got, this pocket has some stuff in it. Uh, this pocket has the little card that I keep my washi tape on and I use this for cutting. Um, and then this one has, this little lady is a bookmark I got as a gift from uh, an aunt who came back from a trip to, I believe this came from, I mean, Japan, obviously, somewhere in Japan. Um, this is the little note, the thank you note that came in my order from Twin 16. I thought it was so sweet that I stuck it in there, but I'm probably going to keep that out for now. And then these are, let's see, these are little page flags that I got from Daiso. Um, there are like a bunch of them. They're a little plasticky and I've been using these to sort of mark a couple of pages here and there. Just really cute. Um, and they're just pink and purple. Even though that doesn't really match, I thought they were really cute. And so I'm hanging on to this. And then these are all of the little, um, icon stickers from Twin 16 that I showed you in that unboxing video two weeks ago. Um, so I hang on to these. I use them for planning my, like, videos and stuff like that. Days that I want to film, uh, voiceover, edit, upload. That's emails. I just got these stickers and I haven't used them yet, as you see. And then these were the ones that came in the grab bag. So those are all in here. Alright, uh, then in the back... I'm going to show you the QR code, but that's a, a movie ticket that I printed out. Um, let's see. And then these are some more of those stickers from the unboxing video. I'm hanging on just a couple of them so that I can use them. These ones are really cute to use like on the fly. And then there's also a $5 bill back here. I really like that this back pocket um, fits a letter size page folded in half, like perfectly. And then this back pocket here fits like um, those mini notepads, you know, like this, this mini legal pad. I don't know what the dimensions of that, but if you fold that in half, it fits in this back pocket perfectly. All right, so let us begin flipping. Um, this is, yeah, laminated, same pictures. These are getting older. I believe this was five months. No, maybe seven months. Now I don't remember. This was for my mom's birthday at the beginning of February. So this is April's context list. Um, 
I will be getting to my weekly page, but like this week I'm working on knocking out everything on this one before migrating over to here. So even though I'm filming this at the beginning of May, I'm still on my April context list. Just that I don't have to copy everything over because I'm working this weekend on trying to clear out a lot of the things that have been sitting around here for a while. Um, and so this is May's context list. You saw that in my uh, monthly plan with me. Uh, the recurring task, task list is here. Um, I think I still need to cross off a couple things. I just kind of go through and cross this off like as a couple times a month, but I actually add these to my monthly calendar. So that doesn't matter. Like I don't have to check this every day. Um, I just check it once a month and then every so often I'll go in and I'll fill in the squares of the things I've done. Waiting on, don't use this very often. My Sunday maybe list is here. I might migrate a couple things from here onto here. And then this first tab is my monthly section. This picture was on New Year's Day. She's 10 months old now. All right, here's my May. You've seen the plan with me. Um, and so this is, you know, the beginning of the tracker. And I just cross the things off as I do them or as they happen. Um, and yeah, that's pretty, pretty simple. I'll usually move stuff from here and here to my weekly then. Um, so they go from like future log to the month, to the week and to the day, <laughs> but it keeps it all on, you know, fresh in your mind. So this is my future log. I put the little bit of like decorative washi and color in the side here. Like once that month has come and I've moved everything to the monthly spread. Um, so it's getting very colorful and pretty as we near the beginning or the mid point of the year. And then, yeah, it's all, there's a couple things on there filled in. Um, but at some point I'm going to have to stick in, um, something to be a repository for, uh, 2020 things, events. Um, cause I always like to have an, an afterwards section on my future log. Cause for example, your dental appointment, right? So at the beginning of the year, you go to the dentist and they're like, okay, great. You went in April. Let's go again in October. But when you go in October, you still have you're still in the current year you gotta know to schedule it next april anyway this section here is for birthdays and anniversaries and i added some washi tape to it and i decorated it a little bit because it was boring uh, <laughs> i just i really just added a stripe of mild liner to the top but i just pull this out every month also when i do my setup and that tells me what's coming up Next tab is weeklies still. So this is the second half of my um, um, Holy Week spread. Uh, that was on my Instagram, I think. And then this is the week after, pretty basic, but with a green theme. And then this is this week uh, as I'm recording this. I, I don't know how I feel about the color yellow after this week, honestly. It's just a little much and it's also kind of difficult. Like you cannot see, can you see? There's a little picture of a monitor on here, but it's in white. So white on yellow, it just doesn't work very well. Anyway, this little uh, weekly bookmark just keeps me in place. I really do like my Alistair weekly to-do list, so. Um, and then I have, a, let's see, just a couple weeklies in here or upcoming. And then this tab is for dailies. So I've got here Good Friday still. I uh, I go through and just double, triple check that there's nothing on here that I need to migrate somewhere else before I take these out. But I'm trying not to keep too many spare dailies in here. Um, this is from the Happy Planner sticker book. It kind of is almost too small. I mean too big, as you can see. Um, trying out a different header here couple little fun stickers <laughs> and then this weekend this is when I'm recording I just thought I'd be silly and pull out like all of the stickers that I really don't need and um, I smushed it all into like half of a page because <laughs> I didn't want to move on to this one I'd like at the end of this weekend to to migrate all of these dailies and just pull them out um, and start with a fresh page because I kind of like at the beginning of a week to open up and see my daily on this side and a little picture of my baby on the other side because this makes me laugh. So yeah, I've got again some happy planner stickers mostly and then these two 
are um, Poon 16 stickers from that unboxing you saw. All right, this first of my self tabs is general, uh, like project lists and stuff, project pages. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see, but it's a little bit delaminating here. So I want to shove these through the laminator again uh, to get them to stick a little bit better. Especially as I, yeah. This is a list of things I still need to declutter. I went through and I did most of the house. Like I did pretty good, um, but there's still different places that just need to be taken out, reorganized and put back. Um, there's like a drawer of like miscellaneous hardware and stuff. And every time we need a nail or a thumbtack or the measuring tape, it's like, it's so hard to dig through there. And oh my gosh, I need to do that. All right. This is just the um, to-do lists uh, pages that came with the final facts. This is the thing I'm kind of sort of trying. There's this website. It's the the organized mum. So this is the organized mum method. It's all very British. <laughs> it's funny that like everybody in her Facebook page and stuff seems to be British and it's like the default, whereas most of the internet seems to default to being American. So it's kind of a funny thing. But anyway, the idea of this, it's like a fly lady kind of an idea where you have a, a room that you focus on each day. But the idea is to do 15 minutes of general stuff and then 30 minutes of a particular room, Monday through Friday, and then you have weekends off. So Fridays, these are the weeks, uh, there's like an eight week rotation of what you do on Fridays. So I just kind of wrote it all out on here so that I would have a quick, easy reference to know what I'm working on. And I'm, I haven't been doing a full 30 minutes but I've kind of been at least using this as motivation. So this is the 52 weeks printout from um, Peanuts Planner Co. And so I use this to designate a particular, uh, like a project for each week. So every week I'll, you know, I'll put a thing that I want to be my focus. And so that's what I put here. Um, as the last week of the month, I, my project was to do everything off this list that I could. So if that makes sense. Um, next week I need to work on my podcast. In fact, I don't know why that's here. I think that really does need to be next week. Um, let's see, this is a um, jot pad. I did a whole video on what these are, what I use them for, but I kind of use them for like miniature project pages a lot of times. And so these are just notes on the diapers that I was reselling and I actually finally got a buyer for those. So I don't need this anymore. Um, I'm reading The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. Everybody, I know, I know, I'm so basic, but I just had a couple of thoughts and questions, so I jotted them down and probably don't need this page. Library books. Um, these are a couple of things that I'd like to read sometime, but this is a checklist of everything that we check out from the library and their due date. So the migrating uh, symbol means that it's been renewed. So I renewed this on the 30th and it's now due on the 21st. Um, and then these are mostly all the board books I pick out with my baby because I go uh, to the library every Tuesday evening for story time with her. And we pick out some new board books to read at bedtime. So we've got two out right now that are due on the 7th. That's this next Tuesday. So we'll return those and get some new ones. So here, yeah, I'm reading, like I said, Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up. And I'm doing okay, but I need to finish it before the 21st because I can't renew it again. need to get... I just kind of want to say that I've read it, you know? So I'm working on it. And it's, it's a pretty easy read, but I just need to sit down and actually do it. I've been trying to read, like, what a, a couple of sections um, every time I'm pumping at work. And that's sort of been working. I'm trying to focus on relaxing during my pumping sessions. I was like watching a show, but that show was Law & Order SVU, which is not super relaxing. And I was realizing that that was probably one of the things that was kind of hurting my supply. And so I'm trying to not watch that while I'm pumping. Instead, I'm listening to peaceful music on this app called Tide. That's like a meditation slash focus kind of an app. And it allows me to just set relaxing music for 20 minutes. And then I, great, when it goes ding, that means it's time to stop. Anyway, I'm also reading this and looking at pictures of the baby. Um, and it's sort of like, instead of chapters, it 
they're kind of chapters, but there's like chapters and then there's like headings in each chapter. And there were 50 of those to go between where I was and the end of the book. Perfect. There's 50 squares. So I'm just sort of keeping track. I did a whole video, by the way, uh, where I talked about these inserts. Uh, take a look. These are notes for the mobile game that I'm playing. I'm, um, yeah, uh, there's four whole pages in here of stuff for, I feel ugh, like I'm ashamed to admit that I track my mobile game in here that it's that much of an addiction, but okay. Then this is my debt tracker. Uh, as we slowly pick away at it, I just fill that up. Every so often I check it. Emergency fund also savings right there. This is the list of gift ideas. Doesn't change very often, but when I think of something, I write it down. This is a idea, basically my gift list idea for myself. Uh, I want to remake this one just because it's starting to fill up, but it's a list of things that I want to watch. And then I kind of cross them off when they're done. It helps me like not spend, uh, I don't want to spend all of my mental energy on remembering something as stupid as, oh yeah, I want to watch that show. So I write it down so that I don't have to think about it. Um, I filled up the last of these, but this is where I write down things that I want to talk to my husband about, things that are difficult to talk about that I need to work out in my head, things that we need to have an argument about, or things we just need to have like a, a serious night where we're like having a family meeting about. I did a whole video about that as well. All right, next section is YouTube stuff. I want to go through this kind of quickly because I don't want to like spoil too much, but I did do a video on how I use my content calendar. Um, so here, yeah, March, April, I have a couple notes and things here. I have this tracker that I'm not really using. And then this is like the list of upcoming videos. This is a list of video ideas that I'm kind of not really using very much yet. Um, <laughs> this is a note, notes for the stuff for the Sims videos. I moved those to a separate channel and I've actually kind of stopped doing them informally. Um, I just one week decided to not bother because I was sick and no one noticed. And so I haven't been and I feel really good about that. <laughs> These are some notes for upcoming videos and things. I um, tried making a little insert myself of like a checklist of things, a place for notes. This is helpful, but I'm still not sure how I feel about having four videos per page. Because the idea is like, I don't want to have notes for videos I've already made clogging up in here, you know, and like I've got like, see, everything on this side of the page I've already done. I crossed them out. But there's still notes for a video that I'm going to make someday, probably. Because I already prepped it. I may as well make it. Anyway, that's that whole section. This is baby stuff. So here she is, super cutie in December. Um, this is the packing list of stuff. I usually don't have to reference this anymore. I've gotten good enough of uh, remembering what needs to go with the baby to the babysitter. Um, but it's still here in case I forget. And then this is the list. Every time I accidentally leave something there, I just write it down so that I don't forget also. The things that I don't want to have to like spend my weekend obsessing over the fact that I left, you know, a, a Pyrex at her house. I just, I write it down. And this is where I keep track of who's watching her. I actually am behind. I want to fill it out. Um, at some point it mattered. It doesn't really so much anymore, but the important thing on here is that I, um, I count how much frozen milk I have at the begin or at the end of every week. And I write that here. And then I've also been writing, um, how much milk she drank over the course of the week. So you can kind of see a little bit of a, it changes a lot depending. Um, but that just kind of, I, I want to know how long my milk's going to last. It's not going to last very long. We'll see. And then this, I printed out some milestones for her. Um, and just, I check them off every so often. Um, just to kind of keep tabs on like where she is developmentally, but mostly it's just exciting to know what's coming up, what to look for, what to encourage her to do and to learn. So it's pretty cool. She's doing, she's doing pretty well. She's crawling now. She's pulling up and cruising. 
all of that. And then this is questions for the doctor. Um, these were all the questions from the last visit, so I crossed them off and there's room for more. So I'm just leaving the same list. This is a sort of wish list for baby stuff. And then this is where I keep track of all of my milk supply. I did a video on that too, of how much I pumped versus how much she drank. And notice it's been really bad. Um, mostly I think April was terrible because I got sick early in April and I still have a cough a month later at the beginning of May. And then also yesterday I started my period, so that doesn't help. So it's been not great, but hopefully it won't go away altogether. I don't know. She's never going to stop nursing. I feel like she's going to be nursing when she's in college, but the question is how much more can I stand to keep pumping? My, my goal is to keep pumping until she's a year old, but we'll see. Uh, this section, I really love this. This was a print from Comic-Con. Um, this section is my MH stuff. I'm giving up a couple of my jobs on MH as of the end of like a couple weeks from now. So uh, it's gonna be a little bit easier. This is just a calendar of where we are in the, the MH year. It's always good to know. Um, can I keep that for reference? This is my general to-do list for all of my jobs. Um, and I'm going to be redoing this soon because it's one of those ones that I like erase the check boxes and recheck them every year. Um, and this, um, and it's starting to just like, you can only do that so many times before it just kind of starts looking dingy. And then this is the same thing for, um, all of the classes at the Wizarding College, and so I cross off, or I like erase, sorry, the notes and stuff as I don't need them anymore. And so it's starting to get a little dingy too, so I want to remake both of these. Then there's another scholarship competition coming up, so I did, you know, a specific spread of notes for that. Then this section, oh, this is all of my, like, writing stuff, which is ongoing as a project, personal development career stuff, so let's leave that, you don't have to look at that. This is the brain dump. I've made a new brain dump page because I, the last one filled up, and I haven't used it yet. So I kind of just use this as, like, a RAM. <laughs> um, there's, like, some notes under this sticky note that... It's like an address that I need um, in another couple of weeks, but I don't want to keep this daily in there. So I'll probably migrate that just to here because I don't need like a special spread for it. Um, so that kind of a thing. And then this section is all of the spare pages. Like I said, I have some checklists in here. All of my spare grid paper is at the back of my dailies. Um, and I can always pull this out and use it somewhere else if I need it, but I use it for my dailies, so that's where it lives. But everything else, lists, um, it's all like the Filofax paper is also in here. And these giant to-do lists. And then the same old stickers and leftover washi samples and post-it notes and stuff are in the back. Um, and don't look here, but I've got this uh, insert from file effects that has like two credit cards on that side and on this side is my let's see library card and my daughter's medical card there we go and then um, these are just the little samplers from the stickers because uh, they're cute and they stick in there very nicely so that's everything thank you guys for tuning in and watching I hope that that was helpful fun enjoyable or at least great background music. I hope that whatever you're doing in the background is uh, is productive for your lifestyle. And I'm gonna stop talking now because I think I really need to go blow my nose or cough or something because this cold is just never gonna clear. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe so you don't miss it. And um, I, I don't know, guys, like, do you ring the bell? Do you ring bells for people? Because I, honestly, I never do. I never use bell notification icon um because like that's not the kind of way i use youtube but if you are the person who does i would be super flattered if you did it for me but you know what whatever like if you don't want to ring the bell then just know that my videos get posted on thursdays and sundays at 6 a.m pacific time and i will see you then goodbye